My guest today says that nine out of the last 12 Januaries have finished positive for gold. This past month was no different. So was this purely a seasonal play or are we due for a correction? Joining me today is Bill Baruch, president of Blue Line Futures. Bill, welcome back. Thanks for having me on again. So gold was off to a good start so far this year, but the question on all investors' minds, Bill, is you know, was this just a seasonal play and why isn't gold moving higher here with all the volatility we're seeing in equities? You know, right now, I think gold is seeing a little bit of selling because of the margin calls that has always held gold back during times of turbulence. Back to the January side of things, ultimately, I, I do feel that there is a seasonal play. There's a lot that does come in, into that. There's, there's uh, tax selling at the end of the year, and there's repurchasing. There's always transitory slower growth in quarter one that's been a catalyst. And, and just the ultimate seasonal buying. People look for that time to reinvest or purchase gold as they as they look at and reevaluate their portfolio. So it's always been a very good time for it. I do want to focus on that turbulence uh, you know, that becomes the transitory selling that, that can happen in that first quarter. We are seeing that with, with in the stock market right now, regardless of, of higher GDP in, in uh, the first quarter. We did see a GDP miss in the uh, in the fourth quarter. So ultimately, when your people position long gold ahead of stuff like this, ahead of a stock market correction, and not necessarily buying gold after a stock market correction, and, and because of that, after the correction, people are have to rebalance their portfolios. Right. Assets come out of gold in order uh, to meet margin calls in stocks. So I think there's a combination here uh, with the price action in gold not benefiting from this stock market move. Bill, would you say, though, that gold is in a bull market phase right now? I believe gold is in a bull market phase. Some may not agree with that until it breaks out above 1400. I think this this price action and falling back is very interesting as the dollar strengthens. And I am a dollar bear over the long run. So ultimately, I think there's going to be a really great buying opportunity here for gold. I think that's going to come a little closer to 1300. The dollar index I'm watching very closely it, it has a little bit more upside. Um, right around 90, 91, 75, 92. And on the downside, the, the euro is a big part of that trade. I think there's a lot of support in the euro around 122. So I'm looking for the currency side of things to get there because the currencies really were a big part in why gold rallied in January. The dollar got, yep. got clobbered. And on top of that, gold rallied in the face of treasury market right. weakness and rising yields. So, so gold really focused on, on the dollar rather than the yield story. Bill, let's look at the other metals here because silver also hitting a key level. Uh, you know, in the metal space here, silver, platinum, palladium, besides gold, do, you know, which one has the most compelling story for you here? You know, I think silver, after it has gotten beaten down, because I am so positive on gold right now, I see a lot of support at 1640 and silver. There's some retracements there. There's a trend line a little lower that, that I'm also using as backstop in silver. I think this is an area that you want to start to look at for silver. Again, you want to correlate that with the dollar index having a little more upside. But I think silver, seeing that leg down today, it's starting to get very attractive. I think silver, once it does find its bottom, whether that's closer to $16 or right here in that range of 1635, 1640, ultimately, I think that's going to get a big boost back up in a fairly quick manner back towards 17, 17, 20. And with that, gold's going to recover very quickly. I, I've always said they, they work best when they work together. And ultimately, I do think gold is going to get out above 1400. Maybe that catalyst will be silver getting out above 1770 and that trend line from the Brexit highs. So ultimately, one of the two is going to give, but I do imagine gold making a move out above 1400 at some point in the next uh, you know, three to six months. All right. We'll speak to you next week. Bill Baruch, thanks so much. Thank you. And thanks for watching. We'll be back tomorrow.